Good morning. Uh, I pray and I hope that you have enjoyed a wonderful Thanksgiving meal. And uh, thank you for waking up with, with us, with this devotional. Um, it's a wonderful day today. And uh, not only because God has made it, but a lot of you have the day to spend with family, uh, to relax, to rest, and just to remember how good our God is through all seasons. And especially we begin the season all the way to Christmas. So enjoy the season. And again, thank you for tuning in. This morning I have uh, a question for you that someone in the scriptures asked God. And I feel like maybe even God asked that person that question. And it's very personally important for every Christian to realize that when we ask certain things to God, from God, we could almost always expect God to ask us questions as well. And so you're going to hear that conversation between, in this case, Abraham and God. I want to read from Genesis. So see it and enjoy this scripture reading from Genesis chapter 15 and on. After these things, the word of the Lord came to Abram in a vision, saying, Do not be afraid, Abram. I am your shield, your exceedingly great reward. But Abram said, Lord God, what will you give me? Seeing that I go childless, and the heir of my house is Eliezer from Damascus. And Abram believed in the Lord. And he accounted him for righteousness. Later, Genesis chapter 21. And the Lord visited Sarah, Abram's wife, as he had said, and the Lord did for Sarah as he had spoken. For Sarah conceived and bore Abraham a son in his old age, at the set time of which God had spoken to him. In Abraham called the name of his son, who was born to him from Sarah, bore, bore to him Isaac. Isaac means he will laugh, he will rejoice. Genesis 22. Then God said, Abram, take now your son, your only son Isaac, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah, and offer him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains on which I shall tell you. Then they came to the place of which God had told him. And Abraham built an altar there and placed the wood in order. And he bound Isaac, his son, and laid him, laid him on the altar upon the wood. And Abraham stretched out his hand and took the knife. He did this to slay his son. But the angel of the Lord called to him from heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham, he said, here I am. And God said, do not lay your hand on the lad or do nothing to him. For now I know that you fear God, since you have not withheld your son, your only son, from me. Amen. One of the most inspiring, uh, challenging, beautiful stories from the scriptures. We read this over and over again. There's so much to learn. The beautiful image of God himself sending Jesus Christ, his only son for us. There's, there's, this is a prophetic story besides being, of course, real. It happened, but also prophetically speaks of God sending his son to die on the cross for all of us. But there was that question that I, when I heard when Abraham says, what will you give me? And God's answer is, what, when you ask me what will I give you, I'll give you this. I'll give you laughter and joy into your heart. I'll give you that. When God gives Abraham Isaac, his name means he will laugh, he will rejoice. And I know this comes when, when Abraham hears that he will have a son, that Sarah will bore a son. So he started laughing, saying, are you kidding me? That's impossible. But he, what he doesn't know is not only for God, all things are possible, but God had an answer to his question, what will you give me? God would give him a son. And that would bring this joy and laughter and happiness 
into his heart. But here was the challenge. Abraham never thought that God would ask him, Abraham, what will you give me? I gave you what you wanted, but how about you? What will you give me? And I love this idea that Abraham was ready out of fear in God, loving God, to give the same thing that God gave him. It was kind of a, a return back to God. That's, that was the love relationship between Abraham and God. Now, today's Thanksgiving Day, and yesterday you've enjoyed a meal, and today we have so many things to remember back and said, how many things I've said, God, will you give me? What will you give me? And God is a gracious God. He's given so much to all of us. But I think right now it's the time where our lifestyle, our decisions, our Christianity shows that if God tells us, what will you give me? We'll have plenty to give God. And the most important thing is ourselves. Isaac meant the world to Abraham, and he was ready to give that back to God. And I think that's the fearful and loving relationship between us and God. When on days like this, we're saying, Lord, you've given everything we've asked for. And how about if you ask for it back, it's all yours. That truly says that us as well, God can say, for now I know that you fear God. You have withheld nothing from me, and so now I know you. Be encouraged with this word and enjoy that type of relationship with God. All right, enjoy Thanksgiving. My love to every one of you, and may God be with you.